Um, I first wanted to ask, do women need attention to survive? <laughs> Go around and say yes or no. <laughs> Just a yes or no. Yeah, you, yeah, you could, any thoughts you have on this question? <laughs> um, I think, yeah, there is definitely an innate craving for attention, validation from people in general or from men. Um, in terms of survival, mm -hmm. I think that's a complicated one. It varies, I suppose. Do you guys think? I don't think they need attention to survive. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe water. <laughs> but um, I don't think that's a female thing. I feel like people need attention, right? There's like a load of people that need attention mm -hmm. and they're just needy people. Yeah, I think they need it. Yeah. That's why when they hit the wall, they like implode. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah. yeah, absolutely. A woman won't go to three hours of doing herself up for no attention. That don't make any sense. Absolutely, yeah. They, they literally evaporate if they don't get enough attention. So, um, I have a question for the men. <laughs> Do you feel like women are more interested when you give them attention or not? Oh, oh gosh. So, oh. in the current dating market, I think it's complicated because a lot of people are used to toxic relationships. So, often from experience, what I've seen is if you do, if there, if there are certain women who are receiving quite a lot of attention and on a regular basis, you know, they're very attractive, what can tend to happen is if they sense a sense of desperation or you trying to try too hard, they can tend to pull away. But then if you step back yourself, they can tend to desire it more. So it's almost like that phenomenon of people wanting what they can't have. So, yeah, it just depends, I suppose. Um, women live for attention. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they can't get enough of it and and i'll give a clear example i had a friend that i was walking from home and she comes when i was walking from home and because i was working and not paying attention she's throwing a tantrum and for what you know i was working from home before you came here i'm not gonna leave working so they can't get enough of it it's like a petrol in a car yeah i actually i posted like a youtube short about this that's how passionate i am about this <laughs> yesterday and my theory is that the modern woman is a narcissist and that they can only bond via men's time and attention. And that's, that, that, that theory underpins all your success in dating. Um, the reason why you can't talk to them so much and you have to play these games of attention and status when you text someone on Hinge and Tinder is, is because of that. It's because it doesn't matter what you say. She's not actually interested in you. There's like 20 people that match with her. She's, what she's trying to do, she's trying to, she's going to fall in love with herself via the proxy of your time and attention. <laughs> that's, that's why it's better that she, you talk 20% and she talks 80% because she doesn't care what you do. So that's my theory. Is that what you put in your YouTube show? Yeah, I was just like, this is why masculine men don't talk much. It's pointless, bro. What were the comments like? <laughs> You're insecure. Yeah. Uh, only 200 views so far, but uh, I'm, I'm going to get roasted. I'm waiting for it. You've been shadow banned. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny um, because I always hear guys say that like when you give, like when you pull back, then like girls will come at you stronger and harder. Would you say that's true? Absolutely. Yeah. I think, it, I mean, generally in terms of yeah, the toxic dating environment, that does, does tend to be the case. But for people who are stable, which is rarer these days, <laughs> yeah. Um, sometimes they're not interested in playing games. They just want a man who's actually going to be genuine. Yeah, yeah. That's but, that's for women who aren't most of them under love that games toxic. Though. Yeah, but that's the toxic. In your experience, the only reason they they chase you back is because they want the validation. So, so that process is just getting them hooked on the validation. Do you think that's the case for every woman? Yeah. Period. Yeah. Well, well, stable women won't won't let a conversation be that one sided. So, so there'll be yeah. an equal sense of loss. But when you're matching with someone on Hinge or Tinder, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you've been making her feel like the most fascinating, sexy woman on the yeah. planet, and you stop texting her after a while, she's gonna be like, yeah, so I definitely cool. agree. What, so, what question? What games have you used that worked? Games. Yeah, that worked. I think I've given up on games. I think probably in my earlier, less mature stage. <laughs> yeah, okay. It, you can, of... it could be from a while ago. It doesn't okay. mean you're currently okay. doing it. Okay, from a while ago, probably, yeah, mm. that, you know, trying to play it cool, not trying to do too much, you know, making sure that you don't do things like double texting, you know, making sure that you're trying to keep that interest double from the, texting. you know, what the dating gurus will tell you. Pull yeah. back. Don't, don't give too much. Don't, don't sound too desperate. Play a game, you know, that kind of thing. 
Yeah. But why? Because no, isn't that, that was before though? Isn't that what you're? <laughs> but like, don't you think that that's the kind of people you're going to attract if that's what you're out there doing? And I'm I've, and I'm saying I hear that you're not doing that anymore. <laughs> But no, if that, that was I, a response to the women. Though. Yeah, that, that, no, that's, that's what, what I'm saying. Got. Like, man, it wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't yeah. I wanted to just be me, yeah. but every time mm-hmm. you kind of just be you. Obviously, you have that phenomenon of she's texting how many different guys, right? That's how. That's how it. So then you're trying to almost compete, but then she's getting it all the time. So the normal um, influx of attention, attention, attention doesn't it's like when people are watching corn mm-hmm. you know um generally they get bored of the thing they've watched yesterday and then they want to watch something else so because of the attention span so that that you know normal span of attention you're giving isn't being appreciated as much until you change something about it to make it more interesting well i don't i think men like they don't do anything unless women require it Absolutely. so like what if women mean? if women complain about men like like playing games or whatever mm-hmm. it, like men don't do anything that doesn't work so it's like if, if women required that men take them on like like 30 dates before they slept with them, men would do it. But it's like when they do that and it doesn't work and they change what they're doing. So if like a guy's being ni- in this in this scenario, right, if a guy's being nice and giving girls tons of attention and it's not working, they change what they're doing. So like the state of men is a reflection of women. I definitely agree with that. Yep, that's, that's true. I, 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 men, men will jump through hoops to get laid. Before before the development of birth control, they would literally marry a girl yeah. to get laid. <laughs> like, like, yeah, why not? For life. And I've and I've talked to older like men about this, and they're like, "Yeah, I got married so I could get laid." Like, like, you can li- literally learn the game from women as well. So, so women women play much more sophisticated games with each other than than we do. So you oh, actually yeah. learn about the meaning of the double text from women when they talk. When she's like, "Oh yeah, Stacy wants to come over," and she texts me twice. She's like really begging it, that kind of stuff. But I, I had two <laughs> strategies, right? There was one where I was like me, nerdy. I was like, "Yeah, I like this anime. Yeah, you know, speaking in poetry and whatever, not cheesy stuff, but like you know, just add a lot of things so that you can have a conversation from right. If you really want to talk to me, I've given you like twenty things here. My favorite movie, my favorite color. I've made a joke here. That didn't work. So. Then I tried the, the games, right? Short texts, take time in between texts, match her time because women notice this. Mm. If, if, if you reply too quickly, they notice, they think you're lame. Um, and then women got super attached when I did that. There was one girl I was talking to for like a day and then I took like 15 minutes to add her number on WhatsApp and she blocked me. And I was like, she was invested, fam. <laughs> like, <laughs> all I did was ask her about her dog. I was like, oh, does he slobber? Ha <laughs> sexy joke, whatever. Yeah, so. Wait, so you got blocked? Well, she, yeah, she blocked me on WhatsApp and um, on the Hinge because, yeah, she gave me a number. Is that, is that a good sign to get blocked? Yeah, like, yeah that's what I mean. Like, Are you sure that's why she blocked you? Massively, yeah, because she shows she was invested. So if, if you gave me a number, we're like, yeah, let's hang out. And I, I add it and text you the next day and you blocked me by then. It must have meant she felt, she felt silly because she gave me a number and I didn't text her for a while. Or she blocked you because she was like, "Shit, I've given this guy my number, and I, I don't want to like no disrespect to you, but like yeah, that, that's maybe. you're just reaching there, but it's cool. You? <laughs> you're reaching hard. You're reaching hard. No, but what I've discovered though is um, with women because they love attention. If you if you say, "Tell me about yourself," and yeah. just listen. She, for the next two hours she can go on but okay guys do you not think maybe this is like the women that you're attracting because you're saying you're looking for these girls on dating apps but you're only gonna like i'm not saying all women on dating apps by the way <laughs> but mm-hmm. you're uh, you're like you're attracting a very specific type of woman that like you're not like well i think the point is women like to talk more than men yeah so it's, it's just a biological difference like i don't remember what the percentage is but we use so many more words in a day than men <laughs> women, like if they measure, use, yeah women use at least twenty thousand words a day compared to seven thousand that men use so where's let, what's that measured on let the woman talk it's, it's, it's measured on the impact app. of your words yeah if as a man if you're always talking you, you undermine yourself because people think you're you're silly firstly people are always judging you by what you say if i walk into a room of guys and i'm like ha ha hey guys i like this that this that they're watching me thinking this guy's cheesy they can say a hundred things about me they can cuss you for anything you've just volunteered same with women have, have you been ever ever been attracted to a guy who talks a lot yeah my boyfriend talks a lot lies <laughs> no he does he's at, like he chats a lot talks a lot talks now more, now you or him <laughs> what do you mean who talks more you or him 
Oh. If we asked him, what would he say? <laughs> he would definitely say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that proved my point, right? <laughs> when he's talking, she's looking no, at her watch. Yeah. She's like, oh, my God. He, he would definitely say me. <laughs> but, however, he's definitely chatty because he's like, he's a comedic person. Well, I, I mean, I think like people attract, right? Yeah. You're correct. Yeah, but I yeah, think yeah. what we're saying is in general, women talk more. And even if you talk to your boyfriend, he would probably say when he was pursuing you that he let you talk. And then to say, because you, you said Mind about me. you said on dating app, I met a girl in a bus, <laughs> in a bus. Okay. I offered a what pop, happened? I offered a popcorn. She said no. Okay. I got <laughs> off the bus. The next day, I saw her in town center. Uh-huh. I, I finally met her once in the bus. She told me all her life history, Ooh. and I just stood and just listened. And each time she kept on saying, "I don't know why I'm telling you this," and then she go on. <laughs> It's one of them. Yeah, Some people are like that, though. Some people, you literally meet them for two seconds, guys or girls, and they will tell you their life story. Yeah, because yeah. women, women love to talk and they like attention. And that was just one man attention, and she loved it. 